everyone, it's James. And Stephanie. We're here at the Pomona Show, and we're here with Mark from Coachman. And we found a new Class B. We didn't even know Coachman was making Class Bs, actually. Yeah, and actually, I think this just debuted to today at the show, this correct? This is the first retail debut. Very awesome. exciting. So, when did you guys start making Class Bs again? How did you get back into this? In September at the Expo, uh, which is our show to the main, or from the manufacturers to the dealers, that's when we introduced it. Okay, all it, right. There are two floor plans of this, but we're gonna take right. a pretty good look at this one. Here, this is the... This is the twin bed model. Okay. Triple C. Okay, and okay. the Coachman Galleria. So we're pretty excited to take a look at it. So All right, let's, let's go. go. Okay, here we go. Uh, the Galleria is built on a Mercedes Sprinter 3500 six-cylinder chassis. Okay. Pretty standard stuff for yeah. Class B. Uh-huh. And what you're going to notice here... It looks very stealth. That's what you'll notice first. Yeah, there's it, nothing on the sides. It's very Not clean. a lot of stuff there. This is one thing that's on the uh, passenger side. That's the propane fill. Okay. Your service tech is going to have to crawl under there quite a ways to fill the propane. Well, that's not a big deal. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen a lot. So yeah. that's me pantomiming awning-style windows. <laughs> They're frameless. Okay. And that is the one thing on the outside there that's regular 120 volt outlet. All right. Now they had just polished this and they got some of the <sighs> polishing rag. There's fuzz in the logo. Oh, James, your OCD <laughs> is showing. <laughs> Indeed. Well, it was fuzz. All right. So now you really liked the step, step. I did. Well, I liked it so much because I've never seen anything like it before. So that step comes in and out. Right. And it's it's on not a, always there. No, it's on the uh, it's on the hitch receiver. So it just slides. There's a pin, which I'll show underneath, and then you slide it out. Yeah. And then you can slide it back in and there's your step to access the rear of the vehicle. Yeah, really convenient. And it worked pretty well, whether you're using one half of it or going straight up the middle. Yeah, it, it was to... solid. Yeah. Yeah. So. And here we are going down the driver's side. There's okay. a 30 amp plug. That's one thing on the outside. Yep. Ooh, and there's a black circle. You know yes. what that means. We'll Truma. get to that. We'll get Truma. to that. So now this down in this service center down here, this was kind of interesting. So the water connections on the right, they just had like this three position switch and one connection only. So they had, you know, you can use tank fill or city water, and mm -hmm. that's common. A lot of A's do that. But then they also had a third position on the switch. I'll start turning it here. Okay. A third position on the switch for winterizing. So there's just one connection. You would just hook a pickup hose to that same thing. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So is that a good thing? Do I don't. Think? I don't know. It's, it's it's interesting. It's certainly different and interesting. They're trying stuff. I huh. gotta I gotta applaud them. Okay. Um, here we have the uh, the grain black, and they have a macerator pump. Oh, is that that new the? What's I don't know that if called? it was new, but it was a turbo. Turbo, yeah. <laughs> the turbo. turbo macerator, only the best for your waste. All right, there we go. Right. That's the uh, that's the Truma yeah. intake and exhaust. We and have a Truma. We're familiar with it. We love it. So. Yeah. And there is the exterior shower. Uh -huh. And the switch for the masturbator is actually in that exterior shower, too. Okay. All right, now, they did not have a ladder, so I had to climb a neighboring fifth wheel in order to uh, take these shots. There's an air conditioner. And, and, oh, there's a solar panel. There is a solar panel. In fact, it is a little flat. Look I think that. it's even a flexible panel. Yeah, look how thin it is. It's very nice. thin. Okay. All right, now here's something we both really liked oh, on the is, back of this. This is shades? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Check those out. Those are on a track. Yeah, so they fit inside a track, so there's no getting around them. And yeah. they're just they're kind of like an MCD shade, but they're not MCD. But they're, and room darkening as well. Yeah, so screen or room darkening. And didn't, that carried over, right? Right. They they have that on all the windows where we have shades in the back. So you'll, yeah. you'll see more of that. I like that. I liked it a lot. Yeah. All right, here we go inside the vehicle. Right. And uh, so this has got, notice a third captain's chair there. So this is more of a touring coach. And there are some things you'll notice about this that kind of make it more of a touring coach. It's the typical Class B plan, though, you know, coming Twin in. beds in the back, yeah. yeah, yeah bathroom on the, the left. And, right. Yep. Right. And here you are with the with the awning. Now, this awning did not require um, legs to pop out and either go in the ground or attach onto the van. Yep, so that's a bonus. And it's all on that remote there. There's actually two remotes to run the awning. Isn't there, that awesome? There, His and hers. I, uh, I, don't, I don't know why you'd want to extend the awning while you were lying in bed, but you could. Um, because that's where the other remote was. There's the remote right there. And yeah. there's the, uh, the awning up and down and there's several other functions on the remote as well. Kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. Now this I wanted to show. That is not a Mercedes factory nav system. That's Good. a Kenwood Garmin like we used to have yeah. and love. And since it's not factory, that means it can be wired so that you can use it while you're driving. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Over cab storage. All right. And storage is always precious in these things. Indeed so it is. Wherever you was... can get it. That's Carpeted great. Carpeted and nice. 
And okay. here we go. Yeah, I don't know what it is with me and fridges, but I always need assistance. Thank with fridges. goodness Mark was there. I know. I'm fridge challenged. I admit it. Yeah. I'm fridge challenged. So this one was running, and it was uh, strictly electric. Oh, yeah, it was. No really propane on this one. A little yeah. flip down, pop, freezer compartment. Right. So. And uh, with the solar panel on there, you know, that's probably a wash. Okay. But here we go, induction yeah. cooktop. Yeah, induction. So I mean, that's great. One. That's great. But then you're going to have to be plugged in. Or running the generator if you want right. to use a cooktop. And there's only one. Like I said, it's more of a touring coach. So that's yeah. one of the concessions to the touring. Yeah, you're not going to go boondocking in this for Probably not. Long not for term. long. No. Um, cabinetry. Ooh. Now look at the backs of those cabinets. That's this curved solid or curved maple gorgeous ply they put back there. i don't know if it's this plywood cabinetry or... was top notch we were so excited i i particularly was impressed yeah. with the cabinetry. and james is a woodworker he knows cabinetry so i really think they had someone who works primarily in residential cabinetry do this stuff it was it was nice it was all right really now this this you're about to steph's excitement here folks is genuine she, <laughs> she got really really excited about this yeah my outlets and usb nerd side came off <laughs> So that's some USB ports and outlets, and they just look at that—they they tuck pop right down. back. In. I've seen that in desks, but never in an RV before. Yeah, yeah. Um, some more monitor panels, and this—this this is one of the things that reminded me of something you would see in a home—a little yeah. flip-down drawer in front of the sink, right? And do you place. see that lighting under the the countertop? Oh, you too. start playing with the light switches later. Okay. I've got footage right. of that. There's a convection microwave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, pretty nice, nice, pretty standard for a Class B. Okay. And now we go with the drawers. They are full extension. They open up all the way. Cool. And if you'll notice here when you close this one, they are soft close. Oh, yeah, I love that. And look at this. I'm going to stop here. So you see that? What? That is half blind, a set of half blind dovetails in a solid maple drawer side. Okay. And why is that? That is phenomenal in terms of RV cabinetry. It is? You're just not getting it. I, I guess not. All right, come on, follow me, let me show you. Okay. Okay, this is a piece of furniture that I built yes. to last long after I'm gone, right? <laughs> right. Now, when I built the drawers, let's look at how I built them. Okay. Okay, okay right here, we have half blind dovetails yes. in a solid maple drawer side. Okay. It's the exact same thing the coachman, except theirs oh. are probably stronger because I've got these little skinny half pins on, and theirs are, they're, are more stout. Nice. So basically, the cabinetry in that thing is going to outlast the rest of the coach. All right. Well, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> if anything fails, it won't be the cabinet. Okay. All right. Back to the review. Okay. Let's go. All right. So dovetails are a good thing. You're educated now, <laughs> but that's not dovetails. That's a flip down countertop extension yeah. on the solid, on the, the Corian countertop. Yeah, yeah. Well, All right, here you are playing with the light switches. Yeah. So there's indirect lighting under the under the countertop there mm -hmm. and under the overhead cabinets. Yep, all sorts of different lighting. And there's another one. Big that... medallion-y kind of fixture up Yeah, in... I like that. I, I like the look of that. <laughs> It's kind of home, it like, like, a, like a house kind of. Yeah. And then there are switches that you didn't even see what they were doing, <laughs> the switch and the lights behind you. All right, so here we have another one of those shades in yeah. tracks. Not mm -hmm. an MCD shade, but like it. Right. It'll stop anywhere. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is it's hard to get it all the way down. All the way the down. So you even, have to yeah, work it. Even when you, when you get it down here, you'll have to like move your hand. There. Yeah, yeah that's see, how to get it down. You got to kind of. That's kind of the thing. Pull around to the side. Yeah. All right, so. here we go with the uh, with the bathroom. Ugh, okay. Bye. Here I go. <laughs> now I won't kid you. This bathroom was tight. Yep. Um, it's a they, class B. What do you expect? Yeah, side bath. They did have a china toilet there though. Yeah. So there we go. Um, yep. Don't don't remember the tank size, but it's on their website. Mm -hmm. Did come with a dispenser. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. he, nice. He said it came with. Um, yep. Itty bitty yep. sink. Toilet paper cover, which you need because it is a wet bath. Yep. You want a shower in there. Yeah, that's where you take. I like that mirror. I like how it's magnifying out. Yeah. mirror. Yeah, yeah, it's good for like uh, for putting on my makeup and stuff. <laughs> to beautify. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the floor was very sturdy, mm -hmm. as you saw me checking out. But I just I couldn't get enough of this itty bitty sink. Oh, I know. The sink know. was just the super tiny molded in there. But interesting. Yeah. So look, there's no faucet. Mm -hmm. The shower head becomes your faucet. Yeah. In the sink. Yeah. Well, I like how that simplifies things. Yeah. So now this is across from the bathroom. I guess this would be a pantry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, very nicely done cabinet work. Those are, those, the shelves are actually plywood, but they have nice solid 
like quarter inch edge banding on them. Good. Again, nice solid maple fronts on the uh, on the pull out trays. Mm-hmm. I, I can't say enough nice things. It was the best cabinetry I've ever seen in a class. Oh B wow, RV. wow, that's I've, saying a lot. Yeah, we've seen a lot of class Bs. And here we go. Here we look. There is a trash oh, can. Oh gosh. James and trash cans. Well, it's RVs. just, it's always an afterthought. It's like, you know, we all generate trash. But it's trash. a big Where deal. You're right. It? Yeah, it's a big so deal. They've, and that's not just a tiny little trash can either. No. That was a decent size trash yeah. can that they had a spot for. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go back into the bedroom. These are kind of his and hers wardrobes. And those shelves were adjustable. Right, but there's no no hanging rod in, in those right. wardrobes. Right, and you'll see why in just a second. Very deep. That's what I'm trying to... Yeah, and uh, there. again, they're they're his and hers, and your feet when you're sleeping, your feet sort of go up under the, and it yeah. is meant to be your feet. Don't worry about banging your head; you'll see why in a mm-hmm. moment. Yeah, more of the curved cabinetry. Yeah, and oh, that twelve volt Blu-ray player, smart Blu-ray player. Yeah, as, uh, as was it's pointed very out. Nice. All right, check out these twin beds. These are so nice. These the- are motorized articulating twin beds. E- up, there they go. And up, down. down, up, down. So if I get irritated with you, I can put it all the way up and I don't have to see you over there. Uh, then I would just put mine up. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> all right, so here we are with more of the uh, more of the shades. Yep. Again, we mentioned they were going to carry that all the way through, and they did. Mm-hmm. There it is in the bedroom. Now, here we are operating the awning windows. Yeah. They did a little thoughtful thing with this window. They limit the travel of that window to there. And you'll see why in just a minute. Yeah, so I no, the other one opens. There. there we go. <laughs> so when you open the back doors of the Sprinter all the way, you're not going to... I, I'm guessing they had an accident in the manufacturing <laughs> process somewhere. And they said, you know, we should fix it. Yeah. Um, plenty of reading lights, uh, speakers for the stereo. Mm-hmm. Decent-sized TV back there. It looks 26 inch or so. Yeah, yeah. More storage. More storage. Use the overhead cabinets in the nice rear. Nice and deep. They were really deep. You can get a ton of stuff That one there. especially. Now, mm-hmm. these these are more, again, with the curved backs. Yeah, yeah. They're nice. That you saw. And that there are one, two, three. Three, four, five. I can count. Good for me. Yay, me. <laughs> Here you are operating the shades. Yeah, that's what it looks like from the inside. So. Yeah, and you can do it just as easily from the inside as mm-hmm. you can from the out. I think that's Look what we're trying that to nice show here. Nice, clean look inside. Yeah, and you can't peek around them or anything. That's fantastic. This is why there's no hanging rod in the wardrobe. So uh-huh. those are meant, they're a little pop-down thing. Yeah. They're meant for hanging clothes. Isn't that nice? And in, in a t- coach that's more meant for touring, that's not such a big deal if you... Yeah, if you're going to stay in a hotel at night, you're just touring around, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you don't want those hitting your head. Right. So here I am with the uh, with controls. So there's a GoPower solar charge controller. Mm-hmm. Uh, the tank monitors are just probes. I asked about solar. No, not solar. Generators start and stop. And then the other switches are for the battery cutoff, the awning power, hmm. um, water pump. They put an awning power switch in there because there's a wind sensor on the awning. Oh. And so if you were jumping around in and out of the vehicle, yeah. it might trigger the wind sensor and that would be annoying. So you could cut the power and then the awning would stay out. Oh, Okay. So here's some more controls. There's the one for the Truma yeah. okay. and a separate digital thermostat for the air conditioner. Oh, yeah. And that air conditioner is one that I particularly liked. Yeah. It is a Dometic, yeah. otherwise known as Quiet. <laughs> um, <laughs> this air conditioner was on. It was 100 degrees in Pomona. And this thing was on the entire time we were filming. And I did not want to punch anyone in the face when I got done <laughs> filming this video. Not that we're saying anything bad about ours, or maybe we are. <laughs> So here we are with the, look, hush mat on the wheel wells. They read my mind. I would have done that anyway if they had And these are the little attention to detail things that a lot of people don't notice. But I do. But isn't that nice? And also notice those those panels there. Those are meant to go in between the beds if you wanted to make a ginormous bed. Yeah, yeah. And here's the, uh, the other side. And just to show you, they hush matted that wheel well as well. Yeah. Not just the one that you could see easily. Yeah. Now here we are looking back. I'm starting to get into the mechanical stuff now. Okay. We are behind the trash can. There's the water pump. There's the other mm-hmm. part of the, the wheel well that's hush matted there, you can see. Yeah. Um, it's not a four-season coach. Oh, so look at that. Look at all outside. that insulation. They did a good job insulating yeah. the walls, they? got didn't insulation they? Inside, the, uh, inside the wall cavity. Oh, I know what this and is. And here I go underneath. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> And uh, as I said, this is not a four-season coach, or at least they're not selling it as such. Right. So there's so, going to be water lines outside. Yeah. And... So there's a the generator, 2,500-watt mm-hmm. propane generator. Mm-hmm. These are the batteries. They are just, uh, there are two of them, but they're just uh, standard wet cell lead-acid batteries, deep oh. cycle batteries. Okay. So two batteries. Yeah. There's the second battery. Okay. And I'm, I think I'm trying to get my head around the generator <laughs> exhaust here is why. Or maybe that's the, the sprinter exhaust. But look, I'm trying to get around to show you the 
Full size spare. Full size spare. Wow. In this thing. That's nice. Very nice. And that is the pin. Remember that step that removes? Yes. That's the pin to remove it. Okay. All right. So now here we are showing some uh, tanks and piping. So that's the fuel tank. And then there's okay. one of the uh, gray or black tanks. I don't remember which. And then a bunch of piping running to this thing right here that I'm going to show. There. Look at that. There's what a window. That? That's the macerator. It's That's a window. a window to the macerator? So yes. you can see the contents of your blood. If you wanted tank? to lie down underneath and watch, yes, you could. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, there are four ports on it. It's meant for like a four port macerator. They're only using two. And look at this. It's the SantaCon Turbo. <laughs> turbo. Because your waste needs all the power it can get. So we have, we have a turbo macerator. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and this is the other floor plan that they had um, on display at the right, show. Right, at, at Pomona. So this so has got that lounge, that U lounge. The, the, the front is very similar, but the back, yeah, has like the, well, the more king size. There was one bed. less chair in the front, though, true. right? There, true, there was one less chair. Good, yeah. good catch. But this is the other floor plan. Yeah, it looks There it is nice. looking towards the front. So, and the slightly different color scheme in this one as That's well. That's where the table goes. You can see the table hole in the floor. But I promise you the attention to detail in the cabinetry in this was just as good. Yeah. And that, I think, is what impressed me about the Coachman Gallery more than anything else was the cabinetry. Mm -hmm. So that's our review of the Coachman Galleria. All right. Have a look. See you next time, gang. Bye. Bye. Bye.